welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to clean Soul's cage. My first hamster video. So yeah, make sure to like the video and let's get on with it. So here I am just cleaning out Soul's old bedding with a hand broom and making sure I get all her poop. Then I go in with a wet paper towel with Dawn on it so I get all the pee stains. whatever I need to wash. So her ceramic truck, got her dish bowl that she doesn't even use. She just kicks everything out of. And then her sand bath that I got from the dollar store. Clearly she uses it a lot. And then her wheel, I like to clean out as well. And I soak it because of all that stuff in the back. So I'll show you guys how I do that. All right, so for the wheel, I just like to put Dawn in it because this is going to be the safest thing for the hamsters. I don't really trust anything else. Um, so I put a dab of this in there. You really don't need that much. So just whoop. and then I run warm water in it. So then that'll create the bubbles and I just soak this in here for basically as long as I clean the other one. And then I take it out and it's clean. All right, so this is what it looks like once I like soak it. I soak it all the way up to where there's like stuff in there because somehow she poops everywhere. So I let this soak and we'll wash the other stuff. Perfect, so then for stuff that's ceramic that I need to wash, I put a dab of the Dawn in this scrub it with the warm water, rinse it, and then I wipe it off with the towel. So all the ceramic things are clean now. I'm going to go in and clean the wheel and get all the poop out of there because one, it stings, and two, I just don't like when she can, has to like run in her poop and pee all the time. So that's like the biggest thing that I clean a lot because when I clean her cage out, it's probably like every three weeks-ish, but her wheel I like to clean whenever I see some type of buildup. So we're going to go in, clean this out, and I'll be back. So we can actually see now that there is no poop up here. I have to go back and dry everything, make sure everything's clean up, but yeah, it looks so much better. Obviously, there's still little things that I have to just scrape out, but it's not coated in her doo-doo anymore. Whoa, it's fogging up the camera. Okay, now that all that's done, it's time to make her sand for the sand bath. I put the sand in for 20 minutes at 355 degrees, and then I take it out, leave it for about 10 minutes until it's cool, and I just put all the sand in here. So this is the play sand all laid out on the sheet. I just got literally like kid play sand from Home Depot, $5 for a 50 pound bag, and I just put this in there for 20 minutes. So I use Carefresh for bedding, so while that was baking in the oven, I decided to just put it in. There's Soul chillin', and I put it in the bottom level, and I fill it all the way up until it hits that second layer so she can burrow, which is very important for hamsters to do. And she honestly doesn't burrow that much, but when she does, she will go ham. And so on the first level, we have her water, her little food placement, okay, soul. I put this in so she can burrow into it, her little toilet paper roll and a little stick so she can chew on, and her wheel, obviously. And then on the second level, we have her truck, which she loves to hide and eat in. Her little seesaw, and then just another home that she usually poops in. The third level, I didn't change today. She was actually up there, and so I just let her be. And I kept her own stuffing, and so I spread a little bit of that out. on um, the new stuffing sort of in the back so she knew that it was hers. And there she is, just posing like usual. Once it's done, it goes in. 
goes into their cage. So here's her sand in her cage and the final look of her cage all cleaned up.